All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to practice multiplying two values together that are written in scientific notation. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you ever see two expressions written in scientific notation inside parentheses with no sign in the middle, that means that they are being multiplied together. Whenever you have two sets of parentheses next to each other with no sign in the middle of those sets of parentheses, then we are multiplying those values together. So basically, we are multiplying one, two, three, four values together. Now, what we're going to do first is we are going to look at these base tens here. So what I'm going to do is just write one base 10 here. And then what I'm going to do is take this exponent here and this exponent here and add them together. Because the laws of exponents state that whenever you're multiplying bases that are exactly the same together, you can simply add their exponents. So if we multiply 10 to the third power times 10 to the second power, that would give us in total 10 to the fifth power. And then what we can do is we can take these two values and multiply those together. 2.1 multiplied by 3 would give us 6.3. And this is actually our final answer. Notice that this coefficient here follows the rules of scientific notation, which states that you can only have one digit in front of that decimal, a 1 through a 9. So our answer is 6 and 3 tenths times 10 to the fifth power. Now let's dig just a little bit deeper of why this actually works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this expression inside the parentheses as 2.1 times 10 times 10 times 10. And then we're multiplying this value by this value. So I'm going to write another multiplication sign and write this expression as 3 times 10 times 10. So all I really did is I took 10 to the third power and I wrote that in expanded form. And I took 10 to the second power and wrote that in expanded form. Now, if you take a look, we can see in all, we are multiplying a total of five tens. That's why we can simplify that as 10 to the fifth power. Or I could have just taken these exponents and have added them together like we did when we first shown the problem. And then we take 2.1 and multiply it by 3, which gives us a product of 6.3. So 6.3 times 10 to the fifth power is the answer here. All right, let's go ahead and show another example. All right, now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take these coefficients here, and I'm going to multiply those together. So we have to take 1 and 28 hundredths and multiply that by 0 and 8 tenths. And let's do some quick math here. 64, 16, 22, and that's 10. So we come up with 1.024 or 1 and 24 thousandths. So let's go ahead and write 1.024 here. And now we're going to bring down our base 10 and take these two exponents and add them together. So remember, whenever you're multiplying two bases that are the same, we can simply add their exponents. And 4 plus 6 is 10. So that would give us 10 to the 10th power. So this is our answer. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. Okay, so let's start by multiplying 9.2 times 4. That would give us 36.8. I just did a little bit of mental math there. And now I'm going to bring down our base of 10. But we have to be careful here. Notice that we have a positive exponent and a negative exponent. However, we still add them together. So if we combine positive 5 and negative 3, that would give us a total of positive 2. Now, this is not our final answer, though, because if you take a look at 36.8, we have two digits in front of the decimal. And to express in scientific notation, we are only allowed to have one digit in front of that decimal. So here is what we are going to do. All we're going to do is we are going to move this decimal to where it belongs which would be one space to the left. So now we just have a single digit in front of that decimal. However, if you move this decimal, we have to adjust this exponent here. Now, how do we adjust this exponent? Well, it's actually quite simple. Because we moved the decimal one space to the left, we made this value one power of 10 smaller. So we do the opposite by making this one power of 10 larger. So we are going to rewrite this as 3.68 times 
10 to the third power, which is our final answer. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply 1.9 by two. So basically we are just doubling 1.9 and that would give us 3.8. And then we are gonna bring down our base of 10 and add the exponents of those bases. So negative three plus four is positive one. And this is actually in scientific notation. However, we should understand that normally when our exponent is a one, that we do not write it. So we can just write 3.8 times 10 with no exponent written. Now, just because it's blank does not mean that it's zero because if it were 10 to the zero power, that would actually equal one. So if there is no exponent written, we should always understand that there is actually a one there. So 3.8 times 10 is our final answer. So that's all there is to it. You simply just multiply the two coefficients together to get your product. And then you bring down your base 10 and add the exponents to come up with your new exponent. And if your answer isn't quite in scientific notation, you might have to make a slight adjustment at the end. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math video. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new videos to my channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.